AI itself is not transformative. It's the workflow that you insert that AI into, the people, the process, and the technology. And you have to have all three. You have to have the right people, you have to develop the right process, and you have to integrate the technology in the right step of the process. Uh, if any of those things are out of balance, you don't really see major change. If you implement AI without a thought to what your long-term integration and AI interoperability platform plan is going to be, you're likely to run head into the same problem we've dealt with around interoperability in general. And I think a partner understands that. And a partner comes to the table and helps you not just plant a tree, but helps you design or all the trees are going to go, but also what they're going to look like in 20 years when they all grow up. So it's just not as mismatch, but it's this really beautiful orchard that has been cultivated over a period of time, then thoughtfully planned. And I think a partner comes to you with that long-term vision because they plan on being there for a while versus selling you this point solution and, and moving on. The foundational integration with our EMR, we've all invested so much time, money, labor, effort, um, to continue to see the value out of these integrated EMRs, integration with these AI platforms, uh, we, we deem as being a, a key uh, factor for consideration. It's gotta be kept simple. You know, the workforce really, their primary mission is to take care of uh, patients and, and not to have overcomplicated technology put in front of them. So keeping it basic, keeping it transparent and keeping it easy to understand would probably be the greatest lessons learned at the most simplistic level um, with regard to AI today. So understanding, even if the companies haven't declared it first, like where are those partnerships occurring? Because that's also going to be really more sustainable and, and prudent for your IT systems to, to your IT team if they can work with vendors that are already um, integrating their platforms together. Do we have the capability of expanding this? Is our infrastructure, whether it's technology or through the workforce, scalable to support this? And when I talk externally also, is the technology, has the technology passed the check gates, so to speak, in terms of provider, in terms of patients? Provider, are they accepting this as the right technologies to be embedded in their workflow? And have we done good education with the patients or the healthcare consumers, how it impacts their healthcare outcomes and how do the, how, when and where their data will be shared with these technologies. So these are some of the key approaches that we are taking into account when we are, we are, when we are doing our learning curve in terms of how do we mature in implementing AI technologies in our, in our ecosystem. We have to try to do some things with the caution of not trying to boil the ocean. And, and trying to do everything and know that, you know, that this is gonna be perfect. So, you know, what do we say? Perfect is the enemy of good. I think we are good at this point and it will get more and more good or great over time. Um, but this is gonna be a process of great learning and our tools are gonna get more sophisticated and we're gonna get better at leveraging these tools over time. Mm -hmm.